What's going on guys, Kedis here, welcome back to a brand new video and today I will show you Phase Agony's new modern warfare controller settings, keybind sensitivity, best sniper loadout, what peripherals he's using and much more. If this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. Then taking a look at the first things first is his controller setup. For BR button layout he has on tactical, stick layout preset is on default, invert vertical lock is disabled, dead zone is on 0.05, Horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical stick sensitivity, both those two are on 7 or 8. So whenever you look at this screenshot, you can see that he has to use stream commands. And in the first one he's saying that he's using 7, but in the second one he's using 8. I couldn't specifically tell which one is the newest, so at least what I would do, I would just experiment with 7 or try 8. But then for his ADS sensitivity multiplier for low zoom and high zoom, both of those two are on 1.00. Aim response curve type is on dynamic and controller vibrations are disabled. Then moving over to his weapons, for aim assist he has standard, scale aim assist with FOV is enabled, weapon mount activation is on ADS plus melee, weapon mount movement exit is enabled, aim downside behavior is on hold, equipment behavior is on hold as well, use slash reload behavior is on contextual tap and depleted ammo weapon switch is enabled. Then last but not the least in the section are movement settings. For slide behavior he has tap, auto move forwards and automatic sprint, both those two are disabled, vehicle camera recenter and parachute auto deploy, both those two are enabled. And then moving over to his general settings, for field of view he's using 60 because obviously he cannot change if he's playing on a console, ADS field of view is independent, for brightness he has 50 which is default as well, horizontal heads up display and vertical heads up display, both those two are 100. And for his HUD settings, minimap shape is on square, Minimap rotation is enabled. Last but not the least, he likes to enable frames per second aka FPS counter on his top left corner. And then last but not the least are his audio settings. For audio mix he has boost high, master volume, music's volume, dialogue's volume and effects volume. All those four are 100. Juggernaut music is disabled and hit marker sound effects are on classic. And with that said, moving over to the second part of this video which is his most used and favorite loadout. Obviously after nerf or buff he keeps on changing them, but at the time of recording these are the things that he is playing with. So for his primary weapon he's using the card 98, secondary weapon is the AX50. For perks he has EOD, overkill and amped, lethal equipment is a throwing knife, or lately he's been using a fire throwing knife, which you have to do challenges to unlock, and last but not least for tactical equipment he's using the flash grenade. So, for his primary weapon he's basically not using anything, at least the last 7 days or 2 weeks he's been grinding the card 98, no scope kills, doing 360s and everything else. And interestingly enough he has max level on the card 98 but he's not using any attachments. But if I'll see any changes for this weapon, I will keep updating you on the video description. But then looking at his secondary weapon which is the AX50, for barrel he's using the 17.0 factory barrel, Laser is attack laser, stock is the sync wards, arms assassin, rare grip is the strip hold grip type and perk is sleight of hand. As you know phase agony is only playing about 99% of the time with snipers, so here is the setup for it. And last but not the least which is the third part of the video which are his main gaming peripherals. For his monitor he's using the AOC C277 OPQU monitor which is a basically like a default 144Hz 27 inch and 1 millisecond response time gaming monitor. Then for his gaming controller he's using the PS4 scuff and for his audio he's using the Banyard Dynamic DT990 Pro headset. And that's basically it. I really do appreciate it for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any specific questions, future video improvements or maybe any suggestions on what next YouTuber or streamer I should cover and make a video about, let me know all of that in the comment section down below. If by any chance this video helped you a lot, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe and enable that notification bell so you would get notified when a new video is up and running. By the way, I stream every single day on twitch.tv slash kategames so if you want to interact with me, ask any questions or just watch some high kill gameplay, come hang out and I'll leave you with some really good past stream gameplay. From me that's it, thanks for watching guys, appreciate it, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one, take it easy, peace. UAV overhead.
target is down. Well done. I'm hit! Allied precision airstrike incoming. Be aware. Setting charge. I'm trying to get some Moving up here, belay that. Target sighted. Oh, uh, <laughs> Piece of the piece of the impact, no kill. Enemy contact. Okay, move it. Wait, cancel that. Enemy UAV overhead. Target is down. Well done. Cast on my left. Heading this way. Enemy dropping into the AO. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. No, 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 puedo. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold